My friends, welcome to this tutorial about creating games with Solaris. Today we will use some knowledge from uh, multiple previous tutorials actually, in order to see how to make um, a mechanism that will open a door when the torches of the room are lit. So torches are custom entities and we've done something very similar with enemies. Maybe you remember in, from a previous tutorial, um, this enemy is linked to this door through what we call the user property. So user properties are key value pairs and our enemy has a user property that we decided to call door prefix and its value is in this example door B which is the name of this door here. Um, when I hover the mouse on the door its, its name is, he appears here in the status bar so door B and the other side is called door B2. That's why we call this a door prefix. And we have some Lua code in enemy.lua. So in, in the meta table script of the enemy type, we've defined the event on dead. So when enemy when any enemy dies, we uh, see if it was linked to a door by checking this uh, custom property, this user property. And if yes, we test all other enemies. If they are, if we find one that is linked to the same door as the one that is currently dying, and if that other one is not dead yet, then we do nothing. And if we didn't find another uh, surviving enemy linked to the same door, then we open the door. So we will do something very, very similar for torches. But torches are custom, en custom entities, so wh where should we put this very similar code? Um, we could put it in the meta table of the custom entity type, but it's much easier to put it in the torch.lua script, which is our torch mm, um, yeah, which is the Lua script of uh, all torches, all custom entities that have that have the the model torch. So yeah, it will be easier to do it here because if you if you do it from the meta table, there is it will be the meta table of the custom entity type, which means all custom entities and not only torches but also fire and all examples, all other examples of custom entities that, that you may create. But here we already know in this script that our entity is a torch. So we can simply do some code that, uh, that will open the door when the torch is being lit, is being turned on. So here we have a function turn on that is called when, the, when some fire touches the torch. So we could um, actually almost copy paste this code. Um, well, first, first let me configure the quest editor. What we want is really the, the, the same thing. We want both torches to have a user property called door prefix. And for this, this example, the value will be door A, which is the name of this door. And the other one is door A2. So the same thing here, new user property, door prefix, door A, and we are done. Okay, back to the Lua code of our torches. So when any torch is being turned on, we will paste some code from the enemy meta table. First, we see if the torch has a property called door prefix. So the variable here is not enemy, but entity this time. <coughs> if there is a door prefix, then we know this torch is linked to a door. Uh, we don't have to get the map because actually we, we already have it from there. But we also need to find all torches nearby and to test if they are uh, lit or not. 
So one way to do that is to do to get all custom entities of the map. Oops, sorry. Custom entity. One other way is to get all entities of the region defined by separators. So there is a function to do that and it will give you all entities no matter their type and then you can uh, check if they if these are custom entities and if their model is the torch but uh, yeah you do as you prefer so let's get all custom entities of the whole map and now we want to test if um well first is the torch that we found is it another one that the one we are working on right now and is it a torch first because yeah we got all custom entities even fire or other custom entities so is it a torch get model sorry torch is it related to the same door and well instead of other get life we want to test if that other torch is lit is unlit because if we find only one that has the same prefix that is linked to the same door but that is not lit yet then we return we do nothing and if we didn't find such a torch then we open the door okay so let's try Okay, it works. Nice. So one detail is that if I leave the map, but that was also true for enemies, I mean doors linked to, to enemies. Um, well, the door is closed again as expected and the, the torches are also unlit again. But what if the door was saved actually? Let's save the door state in a variable that we will call dungeon one door A and oops the other side of the door same. <clears throat> and what would be nice is that when we leave the map with the door open well, the state of the door is saved, so when we get back to the same map, this time the door appears open, and what would be nice is that our torch, uh, we would like them to be already lit. So how to do that? Um, it's, it's not that hard actually. When the torch is created, is being created, we just have to initialize it correctly if we detect that he, it is linked to a door. So let's uh, copy these three lines here. <clears throat> when the torch is created, again we check is it linked to a door, and if yes, um, let's get the door, map, get entity, door prefix, and if door is open, then um, well, then I want I would like to lit to set the to just change the state of the torch, but without calling this function because this function d does uh, way too much. We don't want every torch creation to trigger this whole search of all other torches of the map. So we will just make a, a smaller function set lit that silently changes the state of our torch torch but without triggering uh, these events here. So new function set lit and lit will be a boolean if lit then 
um, sprite set animation lit otherwise unlit and our first line here we can just replace it by calling the function that only changes the state And we can comment it, comment this to to be clear. Silently changes the state of the torch. Whereas the other one will um, turn on the torch. Turn on the torch. and triggers door events we can say it like that okay so now when the um, torch is being created we only change the state of the torch when it, if it is linked to, to a door that is already open but we don't um, trigger the whole search of all doors, of all torches. Because if you do that, not only is bad for performance, but you can also have very tricky bugs um, due to the fact that our torches are actually being initialized. So if you are initializing the first torch and at the same time searching for all other torches, well, the other ones are not initialized, so there, for, the, for these other instances, all this code is not, not even executed yet. So you have to be, to be careful when, when you do things from, from uncreated. Anyway, let's see if this works. Okay, good, that's what we wanted. Okay, so the important point here is that um, yes, it's a custom entity, but the logic is really the same as for enemies. Whenever we turn on a torch, we check if it is linked to a door, and if yes, we look for all other torches, and if we find one that is also linked to that very same door, but is not lit yet, then uh, we do nothing and otherwise we do open the doors so yeah again really really the same logic as for enemies so i hope this was uh, useful and we'll do more tutorials about custom entities with um, at least two two more examples and uh, i hope you enjoyed it Thank you all for watching and see you next time. Bye.